Hey everyone, James Reeves, TFB TV here in Uncle Clint's garage at Thunder Ranch with lead instructor, operations manager at Thunder Ranch, Jack Daniel, great friend of mine. You guys have seen him on the channel before. This guy knows everything there is to know possibly about <laughs> training. Uh, this guy has been doing it for a long time on a frequent and regular basis, so he's seen it all. And by the way, check out his Instagram, trstaff.jd. I think so, yeah. Uh, best Instagram account, period, end of story. A lot of you ask me about like what my gear setup is whenever I take these courses. I wanna go over the stuff that I brought and I'm telling you it's probably not the best for you. It's probably not the best for most people, but I wanna talk about my rationalization. I've got Jack here to talk about what you should do, not what I do. We should start obviously with the holster. We're doing handgun two. This is like the more advanced yeah. handgun class. I am the only guy, I think, running an inside the waistband concealment holster. This is a QVO holster. Mm -hmm. I don't know what the fuck Roger calls it, like what, what it's called, but I love QVO holsters. It's got the, uh, Jack, what's that metal? Uh, discrete point? carry concepts. Yeah, the little metal clip, and I like that because it snaps right into my belt, and I am drawing from concealment and, and shooting. It's super uncomfortable. The shit rubs on me all day. We're rolling on it right. and whatever, so it, it kind of sucks for training, but this is, uh, you know, the train how you it's fight, like you know, whatever. Yeah, yeah that, that, this is what I'm gonna do. So I get lots of reps in, like drawing from concealment, pulling my cover garment. Uh, what do you have to say about that? There's a lot of dudes running like battle belt type stuff. Uh, that's fine and that's perfectly acceptable. Uh, especially if you're getting used to the draw stroke and not used to running out of a holster. But we would prefer that you uh, it, you bring that absolutely 100%, but we would prefer that you ran with what you actually carry on a daily basis. So you have to get used to, as you said, manipulation of whatever garments over the top of it and use it in a real world application. So nobody's running around at, right now for the most part with your battle belt every day, going to the grocery store and stuff like that. So uh, having a realistic carry would be ideal. Uh, I'm using the, I'm the only guy using the Federal 9mm. It's their Ballista Clean Frangible. So it's lead free, it's great because like, I'm not breathing in a bunch of toxins. You guys, I like that you have this policy for your handgun courses where everyone's using frangible, you're not you know, fricking giving yourself cancer. Now, about once a box, you can see the, uh, the bullets will snap off. The frangible bullets will snap off and it'll create a really effed up malfunction. Um, in the gun, but I'm getting practice. I'm getting good. Getting reps, dude. Yeah, getting reps and clearing malfunctions. So at the end of the day, I'm not mad at it. You guys use center fire, yeah, though, center fire, and I, I haven't seen those those issues so with that. Frangible in the uh, urban rifle classes and the the pistol classes is a requirement. Uh, we have a partnership. We don't make any money uh, through center fire, and they just uh, you can go on our website and there's a link and you can order it and it is here when you arrive, so it's very convenient. And there's no markup or anything, it's just as a tool of convenience for our, our clientele. Uh, I, I have seen many frangible uh, different manufacturers do this. A lot of times it's being dropped on the ground when it does it. Mm -hmm. Occasionally the center fire does it too, it doesn't hurt your gun or anything like that. We're able to get it cleared out pretty quickly. So yeah. both in rifle and pistol, it's just, um, but a lot of times you'll never even see that problem. Yeah, sure. We see, you know, a nominal 14,000 rounds a week, so we're going to see if, if it goes bad. Uh, Ear Pro. So I like the Walker Razor, um, like this low profile. This is the uh, it, really important, I think, to be able to hear. Yeah, electric it's, Ear Pro, electronic Ear Pro is, is not required, but it definitely helps. Oh, it absolutely helps. Yeah, I, yeah. I remember to tell a quick story the first time that we were here, I wasn't, I was using the Surefire. Sure plugs, yeah, that. and those are great but you cannot hear shit. Yeah. So Clint is calling out colors, you know, and he's saying, if I say red, you shoot, but if I say blue, you don't shoot, and da, 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 da. And he's, so I'm going off everybody else. Right. And I remember I'm standing next to, to this guy uh, in this course who, you know, had a, was having a rough time, I think. Is that the guy that shot the ground a bunch of times? Yeah, that was oh, okay. him. Yeah. That was him, yeah. yeah. Um, so he was having a rough time, and but I'm going off him because I can't hear what Clint's saying. And, you know, if he's downrange, and I remember I'm like low ready with my AR, and Clinton says, Arr! that's all I hear. You know, it sounds like it's underwater. And the guy next to me starts shooting, so I'm pa 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 pa. And I remember Clint being like, stop, stop, yeah. stop. So I now go with the electric. Uh, are there any brands you like? I mean, yeah, I like no, the Yeah, no, these are pretty uh, cost effective. I mean, they work 50 pretty bucks. good. Yeah, yeah, they're, yeah. They're, 
they're cheap and good. So yeah. it's like a weird dynamic and actually the battery life on them is good. So um, uh, I'm running autos, uh, I run ops cores. Uh, some people like the uh, in-ear ones. I don't like that as much. I like the over ear ones. Yeah. It gives you a little bit extra protection. But yeah, there's there's a bunch of them out there. You can do your research and uh, something a little bit more low pro, especially in a rifle class, so that it doesn't interfere with your, your cheek yeah. weld and stuff like that. Mag pouches. I've got the Helicon Text. This is like they call it like the rapid pistol pouch or whatever. It's a little bit shorter, you can see, so there's a little more skin to grab the magazine. And then on my like further back towards my butt. I'm using this dual mag pouch. These have been working great. I just bought them. This isn't something I, I don't carry this like right. on a daily basis. I bought these for the class. They were cheap. They work great. Um, I, I've been happy with them. I'm sure you've got recommendations for for maybe something better or yeah, man. Uh, it just depends on the rig that you're going to run. So if you're if you're running uh, you know an inside the waistband pouch and, or a holster and uh, you don't generally run these on the outside, then don't run them on the outside. But um, just a good pouch that secures them somehow, regardless of brand. Mm -hmm. uh, so a good quality pouch, this would be probably at the bottom end of the spectrum. You know, look around, uh, uh, S-Tac, that's kind of my favorite mm -hmm. pistol mag pouch. They're really good, they secure it very well. That's more battle belt-ish. Uh, believe it or not, there's a lot of dudes that'll come to class and they're like, man, I, I roll out of the house with a pistol inside the waistband and I put a magazine in my pocket. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. That's, that's what you me. Do. I mean, that's and, me. Yeah, yeah. And so that's realistic. Uh, is it the right way? Yeah, there's better ways, but I've done it many times, you know, so. I am attaching them to a Blue Alpha belt. You guys know I love Blue Alpha, Jack. I know you do too. I know most yeah. people love Blue yeah, Alpha. Good company. This is the most basic. This is the $45. EDC belt, nothing to it, but this is the belt that I use every day. Yeah, I mean, not I'm not wearing this to the law firm or anything, but you know, casually, this is what I go with. I know that there are better rigs. I know a lot of guys like you're wearing an under belt for like a two piece rig. Yeah, I, uh, so this is the under, this is a Shaw Concepts belt. I just got this a couple days ago, and then this is the under belt for it, and then the over belt attaches to it. I've been very happy with that as far as battle belts go. Uh, Blue Alpha, I run one of those as well. Uh, Grey Ghost gear, man, that's. Uh, Pound for pound, that's a, and dollar for dollar, that's a really good belt as well. What's important is the belt needs to be a system. This is a Milt Sparks rig. So uh, le quality leather belt. Um, if you're gonna buy a leather belt, make sure you're buying a gun belt. Like it's built for carrying a gun and magazines and uh, associated equipment. So uh, really good belt. It's a buy once, cry once thing. Uh, you're gonna spend 150 bucks on this belt, but you're only gonna buy it once ever, unless you're Clint, and then you have eight of them hanging right, in your sure. closet, uh, yeah. minimum. But I've had one for years, and I wear it every week, and I really, really like it. Another belt, just to say, uh, First Spear. I've ran the First Spear Biothane uh, First Line belt for, God, I don't even know, like 10 years, and they look brand new still. Like mm -hmm. the buckle's a little bit worn, but a really rad uh, rock solid belt. So, and they're like 70 bucks. So get a really good belt, get a really good holster. We talked about James's, that's an inside the waistband. This is an outside the waistband. Make sure that it's quality and is not uh, made of like nylon. So if it's a mm -hmm. nylon holster, it's garbage. And yeah, I sure. shouldn't have to say it, but believe it or not, no. people will spend $1,000 <laughs> yeah. for the class and show up with a $7 holster. So make sure that the holster is built for your gun, your platform, and make sure that it's quality. You don't have to spend, this is a $150, $200 Milt Sparks belt, really rock solid, buy once, cry once, but you don't have to spend that when there's other alternatives out there should you choose to have more of a, a kydex type or inside the waistband type. And they make inside the waistband with this too. iPro, electric Knox fills, what I use, uh, you can do ballistic RX lenses. What I like about these, I can pop the lenses out. They're not made for shooting. But these are really, really good. This pair is probably 10 years old, dude. This They've been making these for a long time. Never even heard of them. Yeah, and you can uh, pop the uh, the lenses out if you want. These are just polarized regular lenses. You can buy them from Amazon, mm -hmm. whatever. Tons of people make lenses, including Ballistic RX. I've got astigmatism. I've mentioned that before on the channel. So I can put Ballistic RX lenses in there, and they're ballistic rated and they've got my prescription, so I'm a huge, and they look cool as fuck. I mean, look, yeah, dude, they, I, I, I mean, look like a treat dope, out there. Dope. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, I don't know if you have any, any input on iPro, but I mean, that's the thing. It's, uh, there's I, a lot I, of it out there. I just happen to be sitting here, Oakley's. Oh, I like Oakley's. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm an Oakley guy. I've got some uh, uh, loophole uh, glasses that have been really good. Smith Optics makes good stuff, uh, ESS, any of the, 
uh, any of the glasses. If you've got prescription eyeglasses, just wear that. But dude, we're, we're out in the sun all day long, yeah. so I like to wear sunglasses Same. when I'm shooting. Uh, I, it would be miserable with clear lenses yeah. out there. Because, I mean, it was full brightness today, oh, all yeah. day. And then, it, you know, once in a while, occasionally here it snows, mm -hmm. and then it gets really bright. Yeah, yeah. yeah once in a while. Yeah, so, so I, I like I, having those. Sunglasses are where it's at. Fanny pack, everyone makes fun of me, which, I, you know, it's fine. I deserve it. Uh, this is Helicon Text. This is a possum. What I love about it, I can keep all my shit in there. I like my loose ammo. Dump a few boxes in here, and then I keep my sunscreen and my protein bars. And people look at me, and they're like, you know, they make fun of me. But then they're like, damn, that's actually a pretty good idea. And it's using space right here where I've got nothing rigged yeah. up. Yeah, yep. Clint's talking, and I'm sitting there eating a Cliff yep. Bar. And, and I'm loving life, and I'm not starving whenever lunch rolls around. So I like doing that. Um, you know, you can make fun of me if you want. I know you're not going to, Jack, because you're a fanny pack I'm guy a, fanny a little pack bit. Guy. Mandatory for the shotgun course. You can just dump yeah. a whole box yeah. in there, and you're faster than everyone else. We still else. need to do that video. We still need to yeah. do that video. Yeah, yeah. But these are, yeah, these are wonderful. So Hewitt Context Possum, I've been on them for a long time. 511 gloves. I don't even know what these are called. These are like the ultralights or something. Uh, my most favorite gloves ever, uh, Jack, you would probably hate them because as you can see, they're very, they're, they're delicate. They yeah, look no, like, like, you know, like gloves. 50s, 60s driver's gloves, but they've got the E-touch where like it'll, you can, right, you can get on your phone. Your, you can take your, your pictures and... This is like a really thin leather padding. It's like a, a natural leather padding. Uh, they're not that, I think they're less than 50 bucks. I have really, really, really loved these. Now I've got like four or five pair. And dude, when you put them on, like you look like an Italian. Yeah, That's just how like, I'm used to. Oh, them. dude, exactly. Whenever I caress Jack's cheeks, it doesn't hurt him. Yeah, yeah. He's got a very soft, sensitive skin on his face. But I like these a lot. Um, you also look like when you're putting them on, like you're a mob boss and you're about to like reach over the table and like choke somebody. The only they thing look is cool. I, I want you to start wearing both of them at the same time instead of just one at a <laughs> time. Instead of just one. Just like, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, they He's were making fun of me. Moonwalking earlier. It was yeah, well, no, I mean, awkward. depending on the awkward. drill, yeah. sometimes I take the gloves on and off. I've got one on, whatever. They were making fun of me. I, I get picked on constantly. Yeah, gloves are, are not required. Some people, some of the guns will tear your hands up. Uh, so especially we're running, you know, a thousand rounds or, or sometimes two thousand rounds, depending on the course, over a couple of days. So your hands can get a little uh, beat up. So uh, thin gloves are the best. I don't want, it, obviously it does snow occasionally, so you have to kind of modify based upon the environment. But uh, thin gloves are the best. I like the SKD or uh, the pig gloves. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, oh those yeah, are, those are great. Those are rad, I, yeah, yeah. I absolutely love those gloves. Uh, just something, and you can, dude, you can get like uh, Nike baseball batting gloves. And, and they're those fine. those work forever. Yeah, yeah. First Spear makes some uh, really good ones too, like a contact glove, and there's, there's different ones out there. Just make sure that they're not slick. So you're gonna drop stuff on the ground and fumble. And I'm gonna do you guys a huge favor right now. Yes. Sun bum, face 50, you're not gonna get effing roasted. But what I like about this, they make a 50 and they make a 70. And it says face, but I use it all over. And for that much SPF, it, uh, it goes on very easily. You know, you get like a lot of like, I used to use the Neutrogena stuff out here. And man, like I would look like Johnny. Yeah. Jo oh my God, I hope we have, Johnny B was shooting with us. I hope we have some, some footage of him. Dude, he looked like fucking powder he was out powder, here. Straight uh, powder. And then the best part is it was running down to his black shirt. So he's got like this crest of, That's so awesome. this is the shit right here, sun bum, because it spreads on easy and uh, super high SPF, 50 or 70 uh, must do. What about some other gear I haven't mentioned, Jack? Uh, so a flashlight, a lot of the times we're doing a tactical run or two in the house and it's handy to have your own light in there to see kind of how that light works in those different environments. Uh, as well as we're doing low light flashlight manipulations on the range in the daytime, right? Mm -hmm. if, if we're not doing a low light class or something like that, but it's good to be able to use your flashlight for all the manipulations. So you're not having to fake it with a magazine in right. your hand or something I'm like sure. that. So a decent flashlight. Um, we, we talked last night about this, but I'll reiterate, I started at Streamlight, I go to Surefire, Cloud, and uh, Cloud Defensive, and Mod Light. Mm -hmm. uh, those are kind of my go-to brands, or maybe some others out there that are good, but those are kind of the ones I use and trust and yeah. have for a long time. And we're Stiletto Bros, and Ryan's got his. Stiletto you know, Bros. See, yeah, right here, the this Stiletto, year, this is my favorite that is flashlight. Jam. That I is carry it. that every single day of my life. I own no today, other flashlight. I think Clint stole one of them. Yeah, I no, I think do. he's. I, no, I think he's Go stolen multiple. I know, stacks no. Stacks of them. So Clint has stolen these, but yeah, Ryan, I, Jack, we all swear by this. Yep. So that's great, the great Surefire Stiletto, great light. And then the most important thing. Dude, hydration. So you need to have a freaking water bottle. I just bring an algae bottle. If 
fill that thing up. Uh, we've got water on the range, it's good water, but we are sweating constantly, even in the winter. So water all the time. Uh, hydration packets, those are handy for guys. Uh, you lose salt through your body. I'm not a Gatorade fan, so bring some hydration packets. You can do your research on that, but something with some salts in it. And then finally, the most important part, rule number one, always look cool. And this Axe Matte Wax costs like seven bucks a tin. See, and this has been all day. We've been on the range all day. I still got I mean, some form. It's, it's not as it's fresh good. as it was. Yeah. I'll, I'll pop a picture on there of this morning whenever it was just out there. And then Ryan has, see now Ryan buys like $29 bullshit. I like this stuff because it's cheap. It works. It looks good. Speaking of cheap and looks good, Jack, thank you so much. Yeah for yeah, being on the course, program as usual, guys. Stay tuned, we're gonna be bringing you more from Thunder Ranch. I will leave links to all this shit in the comments. Stay tuned.